Hello there. Not so certain how many of you will benefit from this, but I'm speedrunning or attempting to speedrun Super Mario Brothers using the Nestopia emulator from inside Linux. And setting up things in Linux are a di little different from Windows. The way I do it is first of all, I have my 8 bit do ultimate. Pro controller connected via USB. This is the controller I'm using with my PC and Nintendo Switch anyway, so I'm used to it. I have downloaded the Nestopia emulator in the Windows release, basically because the Windows version also allows me to use slide split. I didn't get it to work with the Linux release, but that's fine too. Light split also works using Wine. So I'm cool with that. I have um, also separately downloaded the input overlay, which is kind of important at this point because now we get to the interesting things. My version of OBS here, which you can see, is installed through Flatpak. And um, actually, the um, input overlay thing is installed through Flatpak too. However, the uh, input overlay plugin on FlatHub is not compatible with the version that is currently in uh, Flatpak in uh, FlatHub. It may change. I hope it does. But it's known. It's a known bug, and the developer didn't change anything so far. I asked in the, in the um, developer Discord for help, and they provided me a handy little environment a variable which you can add using FlatSeal to your OBS Flatpak. And the way you do this, you scroll down here, once selected, you scroll down here to your environment section and add a new variable. In this variable you write ld underscore library underscore path all written in capital layer, uh, letters equals slash app slash lab. And that's very important otherwise import overlay both from uh, and OBS both from FlatHub won't work together. Anyway, once you have done that and you open OBS again, you can actually go to tools and see your input overlay settings. And then it's all really like this, like you know it from Windows. In case of Super Mario Brothers, we go to Live Split now. In case of Super Mario Brothers, there's a handy little auto splitter file on a github made by curlwinkle 9 and this person already described everything download the file place it somewhere on your disk drive on your pc i just placed it inside the same directory as live split and then you open live split and it will not exactly look like this at first, but it's fine. Press with the second mouse button on Live Split, and hit Layout. And press on Plus, and then add the scriptable auto splitter. And then click Browse. You don't need to change anything else. Um, go to the path where you have placed the um, ASL file from the GitHub here. And once that's done, press on OK. Press on OK here again. Give it a little moment. And then you have basically set up five split already. We're going back to OBS now. And in case of the 
the overlay thingy, go to the plus sign. Oh yeah, and make sure it's already running, right? Open the overlay thingy, the server thingy. Then add an overlay. I've done that already, here it is. Here is Switch Pro controller thingy I have going on. And it's really important you also download the, um, the presets from the GitHub too. Because the presets contain the skins and the JSON files. Which you have to tell OBS to use too. And also don't forget to select the um, device you are using for the inputs. Open your Nestopia. And it's already running in the background. Make a reset. Um, obviously. I've set it up already, so all cont controls are set. And don't bother with auto jump, auto fire, they're just messing up things. Live split usually detects it automatically, also this. Um, sometimes it's buggy. Right now, this is working. The overlay thingy. Live split is sometimes buggy, that's why you have to open it in a certain order. What I do is usually open live split first and then open Nestopia, otherwise it won't work for me. But if we're lucky it's working. It's working now. And yes, you can see it works. Pretty cool. Um yeah and that's basically it. Obviously You want to arrange everything so it looks nice and everything, but this is just for demonstration purposes, nothing special here. But yeah, overall that's it, that's how um, I do my speedrunning thingy, and it's pretty fun. Thanks for watching and... If you decide to speedrun on the Linux, this is pretty handy to know, I think. So yeah, see you around.